there hasn't been a broadcast for three days, why don't you give it up? They might come back on. Everybody, hello again. Yes, happy Christmas, everybody. Yes, it's me, Father Vincemus, uh, aka John Bannon. Oh, yes, well, we have a little bit of a Christmas vibe going now, don't we? Oh, Bernie, you yawning there, buddy. Oh, so I was a little tired of you. Oh, you've got an English accent, don't you? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Not at all, brother. Okay. Well, anyway, Vern is here with me. Uh, we decided we're going to do a Christmas thing after all. I wasn't wanting to do one, you see, because I've been so busy shopping, having to have my elves uh, produce toys for everyone across the world, you see. Oh, dear. It just seems like uh, uh, Christmas just caught up with me this year and I didn't even want to do an episode, to be honest with you. I wasn't going to do a bloody episode. My gosh, I've done so many. But, uh, you know, something in me said do it at the last second. Uh, in fact, I'll probably be editing this uh, as uh, Christmas Eve is coming along and I'm going to publish it on... Uh, Christmas morning or somewhere is about there. What do you think of that, Bernie? You're not even saying a word. I got hair in my mouth. You got hair in your mouth? Yes, I got hair in my mouth. Insert joke here. <laughs> oh well, anyway. Uh, yes, it's Christmas. Christmas, everyone. I didn't want to do this, as I said, but uh, part of the reason was because I didn't have any idea what to do for it. I've done so many uh, movies that were horror and Christmas, but they, some of them get blocked, you see, and uh, I can't do them all. It's really, it's really ridiculous, uh, you know, uh, the way YouTube is, but uh, hey, happy Christmas. Wonderful holiday time, YouTube. Love you. I hope that's a lip thing. Uh, anyway, Vernie, anything else to say, love? What movie won't they be watching today? Well, I'll tell you. It's one I've done before, actually. Uh, tales from the Crypt. I did the opening uh, story. There are five tales. This is the 1972 version. And uh, this is the movie from England and... Uh, the uh, first one was about the Santa Claus who was crazy and went around and 
you know, we were chopping everybody up, trying to anyway. Uh, had a little girl at the end, but look, Ernie. Yes, we're going to do another part of that movie, one of the other stories. This is actually the third story, you see. And uh, uh, this story is the one which a lot of people really remember this movie about because uh, it's the one that was kind of advertised a bit, I think, and uh, it has a lot of punch. He's drunk, he's drunk, oh, he got all drunk. Hey, 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 Bernie, Bernie, stop it. He's drunk, you drunken, I see you. No, stop. Bernie, stop. I'm not that drunk. Huh. What happened was my... Drunk, drunkard, drunkard. What happened was my camera ran out again because I thought I cleared it, and, uh... Apparently I didn't clear it, so I ran out of space again. But in this case, it's a good thing because now we can get right to the show. The third uh, story. I'm gonna take this off. That's better. <laughs> the third story from Tales from the Crypt. And Vernie. You are not allowed to watch this. So, let's start now. The third tale. Grimsdyke. By the way, by the way, this is the first time I've decided to watch one of these from the chair. What do you want? Instead of in my computer's face. Show you something. To show you something. Something in your mind. Something in your mind. Something you are capable of doing. Something you are capable of doing. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You must know. Oh, but you must know. You must know. Synced up well. Poor Arthur Grimm's dyke. I just would like to watch this, but I gotta cut the axe off now, okay. First of all, these Santa gloves are driving me crazy. And I, you know, doing the John Bennon thing just kind of gets old, you know. Up with the Santa hat. Thank you, Mr. Grimsky. Now this story, yeah, this was a good one. Oh, by the way, I've got like a, a kind of a flask thing here. This is butterscotch. Butterscotch sort of a high brandy. It's like a, instead of 80 proof, it's like 90 proof. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, good afternoon, day, lifetime, whatever. Arthur Grimsdyke, the wonderful man of the neighborhood. I'm still talking like that. Yeah, his usual shell out to the kids. He does it every year on his birthday. He does it every year. I don't know how you stand it. Stand it? What? Living across the road from that man. Living across the road. He's a rubbish collector. This is an eyesore. This is an eyesore. The toys he gives those kids, he finds in the rubbish heap and repairs. This is a really, uh... Why doesn't he sell out? It's a, one of the nastier tales. But, you know, here's the thing. See, from this movie... By the way, it's me. It's high. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holiday, all that. Appreciates the value of our property. Cheers. He owns the place Nothing we can do about it. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. So, <clears throat> this was a Peter Cushing uh, participation in this segment. Look at those. Oh, wonderful tall roses. Clipping. Isn't that? 
So what this is about is uh, this nice guy, the Peter Cushing, the old man, who takes care of the kids in the neighborhood, gives them gifts, and blah, blah, blah. But this guy is rich. He's next door or across the street or something. And he's very jealous of all the attention. He considers him a nuisance, like uh, he's not worthy of being in the neighborhood, I guess you could say. One of those, uh, like we're high fluting and uh, this guy's trash. He's... And so that's his dad. He's the rich, rich guy. This is the son, who's well, just the rich brat. <laughs> Now, most people in, uh, consider this episode, the third one, uh, or the episode, segment, the third segment of the first original Tales from the Crypt the three movies. Uh, a lot of people really love this one. I love it. It's, it's the classic sort of uh, Tales from the Crypt. And it has this you know, very, a lot of pathos with this poor guy. Which actually comes around again in the uh, last segment. There are five segments in this movie. The first one I showed you, the Christmas with Joan Collins and the Santa, crazy Santa Claus and the family girl. And then the second one is sort of the, that's the one that's considered the worst. That's the one that is the guy that gets in a, he's having an affair or something and gets in a car crash. You know. It, I don't want to spoil any of this, really. I don't want to spoil it. And this one I won't spoil. Uh, I was gonna, and I thought, no, I better not. It's a good one. It's one worth seeing the whole movie for, so uh, I thought I'd leave it uh, open-ended for you. And you can watch it online. Look at this. So he's, he's got a dead wife, I guess. He's lonely. He's a lonely old guy. And apparently he has some dabbling in the seeds. There's a crystal ball. He's got some dabbling in the supernatural. Look at that. That's Peter Cushing. That was great. Did a lot of Dracula movies, the horror hammer, hammer, horror, hammer, hammer horror. Uh, and he was uh, Christopher Lee's nemesis. As he, Christopher Lee was Dracula. He was Dan Nelson. They did a lot of movies together. He has those same books. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I found these at a thrift store. So that's it. Those are my John Vernon glasses. Happy Christmas, everyone. Oh, I'm back. He's done his job well. There's no reason why the town council should. I always thought Paul was a little. Overrated. He lose his retirement pay. Too controlling and a lot of granny music. <laughs> you love that granny music, that Paul. Oh, that Paul, that Paul. Anyway. Yeah, so he did a good job here, Christopher. Or not, not Christopher Lee. Peter Cushing. Bernie's right, I am drunk. Bernie, he's asleep on the floor. I do believe he's out of a job. I do believe he's out of a job. Oh, this one gets mean. So, uh, the, f the, mo the one after this one, a lot of people like also. It's a pretty good one. It's a monkey's paw variation. And it, it's one of the more gruesome ones segments this one is kind of gruesome too this one starts the gruesomeness i think really and then the second one really carries it over or the well this is the third the fourth one carries it over and then the fifth episode is weird because it's it doesn't do the gruesome stuff but it has social commentary really heavy uh, that's the episode that why a lot of people think that one could be the best one. It depends on your point of view. If you want the gruesome, you know, uh, short, quick, uh, crazy movies, horror, 
the this, the third one, and the fourth one, and the first one are all good. For just that, you know, just more about jealousy, greed. But the last one is more about social problems and about justice, I guess. And it does, it, it could be gruesome, but it, does, it chooses not to be, which is why it's argumented, argumentatively one that some people think is the best thing. I don't know. This is one of those movies where it's up to you which one, which. So there's five of them, so you can choose which one is your favorite and stick with it. That's not bad. They're all good in their own little ways, even the second one, which is kind of lame. It has, I think it has an idea, but it just isn't. It's not really a fully developed thing. And then the wraparound, you know, the, the thing about these movies is the wraparounds. <clears throat> so here's what happens. Yeah, Tom. No work. No children. Uh, this guy, he. Uh, no one to make uh, toys. People are bad naming him, I guess. Never mind. Never mind. He's got the Mike Nesmith oh, got uh, <laughs> little beanie with the ball on the top, but it's blue. But Mike's was blue in like the second, uh, second season. Sell his property for next to nothing. Watch on your mind. Valentine. So his name has been disparaged. Just two weeks away. So, we'll send him Valentine's. Valentine's. Everyone in town. So he's, he's being kind of dragged. Guys spread a rumor about him. Kids don't come around anymore. Like, Look at this stack of Valentines. Like, you can't believe it. But watch what happens. You're my only sweetheart, wouldn't you? Noisier children, loud as a bell, hundred is perfume, but you only smell. You only smell. That's not good, yeah. She is beautiful, if its owner proves it. But our town isn't, because your presence ruins. live in the country. Some people live in the town. Why don't you do us a service? Jump in the river. Trim's diaper is doing to that mongrel. He can stop whining for a week. You know, come to think of it, I haven't seen Grim's for days. Not since Valentine's Day. I'll be far away if the door's open. This place is spotless. Bernie. Svenny, Svenny. Hello, I'm fine. I'm good. Oh, dear Svenny, watch this. What? Oh, 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 it's all right. All right, Vernie, I knew it would be too much for you. You little brat. 
That's what happens, you little kids. You want to see things and then you don't. Throw you down into the pit. <laughs> Just kidding. This is down there. Well, let me say this. I have to stop this now. Poor, poor Grimm's died. But, you know, it was kind of you to say Remember when he was messing with that? It was the least I could do. E.G. and the crystal. It wasn't Ava. Guess what? I think he's going to find a way. To get his way. All right, kids. That's enough for me. I'm done. As little Bernie said, uh, yeah, I've been drinking. <laughs> yeah. Santa deserves a nip. <laughs> but here's the thing. Happy Christmas, Merry New Year, goo goo ga ga. I wasn't going to put anything up. And this is going to be the 10th episode of The Last Looks. A little bit uh, cuckoo. Because that's how this season has been. So anyway, kids, thanks for joining me. And I like that you're around watching. I'm trying my best, but this was a holiday. Actually, I'm going to take January off, okay? January, I need to not do nothing with posting uh, episodes, but I might throw something up there. I have to, right? Just to keep it relevant. But here we go. Tonight. Tonight. It is Christmas night. But now, actually, guess what? Ding, 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 ling, ding, 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 ling. It is Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas, 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 Christmas. I'm looking at where I need to turn it off. Don't look there, stupid. Here. Oh, here. Are we okay? Huh? Are we okay? Maybe, maybe not.